dear students here i am back with a new chapter it is a third lesson of your course book alice's adventures in wonderland which is written by the author lewis carroll but before beginning anything about the chapter dear students let us discuss something dear students as we see and as we study in the subject science and as we see around the whole world there are many living beings there are many creatures human beings animals and many living beings around our world so dear students but only human beings can talk god has given that ability to only human beings not the other creatures but what will happen if suddenly you see an animal talking around you how would you feel so do are you all interested of knowing the story this is what alice experienced when she went out with her sister her sister started reading a book and alice was quite bored reading a book especially a book without any pictures so dear students let's see what happens with alice when she gets bored so let's begin with the story on a sunny day alice and her sister went out for a walk on the fields alice's sister was reading a book because of this alice got very bored right when she was thinking what she could do for fun a white bunny passed by the bunny was talking to himself alice was stunned because she had never seen a talking bunny before the bunny took out a pocket watch and then oh no oh no i'm going to be so late he said in a hurry alice was very impressed with what she saw so curious to see what was going on she went after the bunny The bunny went through a hole in a tree trunk, and Alice followed him through the same hole. Suddenly, she found herself falling down in a well. The well was very deep, and Alice kept on falling down slowly. While going down, the little girl saw pictures, little wardrobes, and shelves. Alice felt like she was going around the world. And finally, she fell on a soft surface. She had a long corridor in front of her. Alice got up and started to walk. She saw many locked doors along the corridor, and the bunny disappeared. Alice feared that she would not be able to get out of there. Right at that moment, she saw a little golden key on a three-legged small table next to her. She took the key and tried to open all the locked doors, but the key was too small for the doors. Looking around sadly, Alice realized that there was another small door behind the curtain. When she put the key in the lock, the door opened immediately. Alice was very happy when the door opened. Behind the door, there was a very beautiful garden. But because she could not fit through the door, Alice could not go out. When she returned to the table inside, she noticed a bottle with a label saying, "Drink me on it." Alice took the bottle and started drinking. As she drank the potion, she began to shrink. When she got small enough, she thought she could fit through the door. But when she got back to the key, she realized that she had gotten too small to reach the table. She started to cry. At that moment, she saw a cake on the floor. The cake had a label saying, "Eat me." With curiosity, Alice took a bite from the cake. At that moment, she started to grow again. Now she could get the key, but was too big to go through the door. Alice was too tired. With no hope, she started to cry again. The tears running from her eyes started to form a big puddle that reached the end of the corridor. Suddenly, the white bunny passed her in a hurry. Alice called out, "Sir, sir, please hold on a minute. Help me!" 
The bunny got away fast, without even looking at Alice. But while running, he dropped his gloves and hand fan. Alice took his stuff from the floor, and when she started to fan herself, she started to shrink again. Right at that moment, she slipped and fell into the puddle. Alice and lots of different animals swimming in the water started to drift towards the shore. So dear students, did you all see the story? Finally Alice managed to come out of the strange world and come back to her normal life in the real world. I hope you all enjoyed the story and you liked the story. Okay dear students? We'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Stay home and stay safe.